Hello again, you're welcome back. Now the latest developments in sustainable energy will be on show at the RDS in Dublin today and tomorrow at the Energy Show 2014. But where does Ireland stand on sustainable energy and what are the latest developments? Dr. Brian Motherway is CEO of Sustainable Energy Authority of Ireland and Derek Roddy is the CEO of the home energy management company Climote. They're both, both with me now. Um, Derek, we'll talk to you in just a moment about your proposal. But Brian, first of all, what are we talking about when we're talking about sustainable energy? Well, what we're really talking about is innovative technology when we're talking about effectively on the one hand using less energy and on the other hand getting energy from cleaner, cheaper sources. So all of us know now about insulating our homes or about, you know, replacing better light bulbs, but it's becoming really high tech now. When you talk to Derek, you'll hear about, you know, controlling your heating system from your smartphone. And in businesses now, it's all about remote monitoring and communication and advanced systems that make using less energy very easy and very innovative. And there's a lot of Irish companies in that space. On the other side, we need to stop spending all our money on imported fossil fuels to, to get our energy from. And in Ireland, our richest resource right now is renewable energy. So the more that we exploit that, two things happen. You keep money in the Irish economy and you pollute less. So it's an excellent opportunity for Ireland. And while we might be aware of re-insulating and putting insulation around the outside of the house, because you see an awful lot of that happening as well, are people widely buying into it? In the last five years, a quarter of a million homes have done something about energy. They've put in insulation, they've replaced their boiler. It's a really dynamic sector at the moment. And similarly, we give free advice to businesses who want to save energy, and thousands of businesses have come to us, and they've all saved at least 10%. So at the moment, for most businesses and for most homes, it's about pounds, shillings, and pence. But the good news is all those people have proven that you can save a lot of money by simple things. There is an initial outlay for a lot of this as well, but it, you, you, you urge people to look to the longer term to make the savings. Is that the, the way nature it works? of energy? It, it's a long-term issue. We do have grants for homes who want to uh, upgrade, so it, that softens the, the economic cost. But ultimately, it's about if you spend a bit of money now, you'll save a lot more money in the long term. And I think people are realizing, particularly in large energy users and business, we can't go on just throwing millions into fossil fuels, we've got to do something about it. And that means a bit of an investment in new technology. Well, that's the other thing in, in terms of what we're, we're using, uh, that, that we, we are having to comply with EU regulations and reach certain levels. We might come back to that in just a moment. But if we go to Derek, Derek, your company is called Climote. Yeah. And what is it that you've done? So, Anthony, we have reinvented two of the major energy consuming products in the home. So we take the original heating controller for your boiler at home we have developed a product that replaces your existing time clock and you can now control your heating system from your mobile phone. So we've taken the original idea of controlling your product from the phone okay. and you can boost your heating on on the way home. If you just turn the phone around there, we can, we've yeah. got that camera on you there now. So and go over this way towards me, there you go. Um, yes, so, so you can program your time clock from your mobile phone and set your heating schedules from the mobile. And on your way home today, Anthony, you can just boost on your heating for one hour or adjust your temperature. So. Like Apple reinvented the iPod and then they reinvented the iPhone, we we're actually looking at the products in the home and we're trying to reinvent the technology. So our latest invention that we'll be launching at the energy show today, we'll be reinventing the immersion switch, that famous immersion switch that yeah. everybody is afraid to leave on. Many good joke routine, routines. Are many, to, yeah. many good jokes. So the idea being with the immersion switch, Anthony, that we would put a smart immersion switch on your uh, hot water tank mm. and that switch would watch out for the best energy prices so if it's very windy last night we would allow the tank to be charged up with low cost energy from the wind farm etc oh, so really? that's where we're going we're trying so to manage it and do, what, does it does it involve changing your heating systems or anything no so for example uh, one of our customers we're supplying six of the largest utilities in ireland uk so electric ireland um, at the moment are offering a free climate fully installed, it takes about 30 minutes to one hour. All right, okay. So they'll arrive in your house, replace the product, and within 30 minutes, you'll be able to control your home heating system from your phone. And it's free with a two-year energy contract. So like Brian mentioned earlier on, some, some of the paybacks are fairly long, um, but a product like this can actually be installed for free upfront. 
and you can get those savings straight away. Okay, and Brian, if we come back to you and we do address that point of the, the EU rules, by 2020 certain amounts of energy have to come from renewable sources. Are we going to meet those targets first of all? And yeah, then the, yeah. there is also confusion over 10 years down the road in 2030. Well, we have firm legally binding targets of 2020. It's going to take some work, but we will get there. At the moment, Brussels is debating the 2030 targets. They're going to be stronger in one form or another because it's particularly about reducing carbon. And for Ireland, our big opportunity is renewable energy because com compared to any other country in Europe, particularly wind energy, because it's so windy here, wind energy is cheaper. So we've already benefited hugely from using wind energy. Our imports of fossil fuels have reduced by a billion euros in the last five years, and it's not adding to consumer bills. That's almost a unique situation in Europe. So targets, yes, we have to meet them, but, but still, this is actually an opportunity for us because we don't have a lot of oil or gas. We're sending money abroad to make other countries rich. We have wind, we have solar energy, we have wave energy. We should be exploiting our own resources and building our independence. And what about the concerns that some people have about wind, pylons, windmills, and, and the plans to stretch them through the country? So it's important that we have these debates because if you start from the proposition which the facts show that something like wind energy is a good thing for Ireland, you absolutely then have to say there are places we shouldn't put wind farms and, there, and people's concerns have to be listened to. Mm -hmm. but a lot of people have concerns about wind, but also there's a lot of people living close to wind farms, particularly in the west of Ireland now, who have no problem with them. So what we have to do is, is balance the various issues between the national opportunity to gain independence, to keep money in the economy, versus local concerns about where we cite some of these technologies. I think we can definitely find a way through that with, with reason debate. Right, OK. Well, that's for the future, but for today and tomorrow, the energy show at the RDS in Dublin with all the technology and advice for people as well, I presume. So it's, it's for businesses. It's free for any business who wants to come down. It's a great show. You see thousands of products. You get to see all these exciting new technologies, and it's a great place to come and talk about the business of energy. Well, gentlemen, thank you both indeed for that. Thank, thank you. Good luck with them. Well, now it's just...